Jamboree? Yes, uh, anyway, it's a delightful day for a football match. Uh, excuse me, I mean soccer match. Going head to head in today's game are the Feisty Tigers and the Mighty Boots. There's electricity in the air, Sonny. These past few days, the world has embraced them and their exemplary manner of play. Fans everywhere will be watching to see if they maintain their transcendent style to take home the astonishingly shiny cup of all cups cup. As the pressure mounts, let's join our players on the field. Oh, believe me, there is a lot of pressure here. What's up, guys? Rupp that here. And I welcome you to what, hopefully, will be at long last the proper finale for Backyard Soccer, Rise of the Mighty Boots. It turned into a train wreck when the group stage failed us the first time. But here we stand at the very end. My Mighty Boots, representatives of America in the Backyard Soccer League, about to go and play the final game of the astonishingly shiny cup of all cups world tournament. Standing in our way as our final challenge are the feisty tigers from South Korea who have kind of been a bit of a shocker throughout this tournament. They came back from a 4-1 or a 3-1 deficit in their first round game to pick up a 7-4 win over Ireland's pot of goals. And then they kind of manhandled Spain's Los Toritos during the semifinal games. My boots are one win away from getting our beloved prize. A and I don't care how feisty these Tigers are. I am not going to let them stand in my way. Let's get this rolling. And Pablo wasting... Well, he was wasting no time, but he kind of got tied up there. Well, these guys are certainly wasting no time. Oh! Nice block, Ahmed. C come on, stay with it, Amir. Not I would have wanted to go about that, but I had no space to maneuver there. So I'm playing a little more defensively, but I might end up changing that here because, uh... That's out of bounds, um... Okay, that is a goal kick. Thank God. I was going to say, if they were going to give them a corner because they're going to say Ahmed touched that, I would have been very angry. They are not letting Pablo get anywhere close to the ball. And that's a problem. And so is them tr Okay, so this is the game we're going to play. Let's play try to, uh... Gang up on my players and... That away, Pablo. Go with it. Go with it. Pablo's outpacing him. Ack. This is going to be a war of attrition. I decided to, ha to have Pablo start off just because of the fact that, uh... That's in the box. And Pablo... To try and see if we can avoid signs of what this game might turn out to be if this ends in a draw. I'm going to have you take this. Up right, and it's in! Me bueno indeed! Thank you, Pablo. It took a PK to do it, but we're on the board. Almost halfway through the first half. Yeah, they are pl they're playing a really awkward formation, one I don't recall ever seeing in this game. Because it looks like they're... It kind of looks like some kind of uh, variation of a... Yeah, just let that one go, Jacinda. That one's on that. Uh, that one's on them. I really don't know what to call what whatever kind of formation they're trying to play here. It almost like they're, it almost looks like they're trying the two-two-one themselves, but they've got one. They keep one player parked so far back that it almost resembles like a three-two-one, even though they don't have. Uh, even though that would mean they would basically have. Um, get out of there. 
Thank you, Ahmed. Oy vey. That turned into a disaster there. But, Pablo's got free reign now to take it up the field. Come on, Pablo. Come on, buddy. And Pablo's going to get his second goal of the game. And I'm starting to feel my nerves calm down a little bit. Maybe, just maybe, we will have our end goal after all. At long last. Yeah, just go ahead and boot it, Pablo, because why not? I mean, we were coming to the, coming to halftime anyway. So here we are. It is halftime. Pablo, you have earned your break. And put Keisha back on defense in place of Jocinda. I'm going to keep this formation because it's been working for me. At least for the Feisty Tigers, anyway. Don't know why it didn't really work out so well with uh, the Flying Zeppelins, but if it's working against the Tigers, I'll take it. It didn't look like it was going to work for a while there, but somehow it started working. And as long as everything starts clicking, I'll take it. So we're going to start with... The yeah, what kind of... They're kind of running like a 3-2 formation. Was that... Is, I would say, is that even possible? Because I don't recall seeing that as an option that I was allowed to select. What? They gave that one to them? Um, excuse you? Uh, my team had control of the ball there. That away, Sydney. That away. Clear it if you have to. Clear it, clear it, just clear it. Let them chase after it. That's what we got Pete for up front right now. Oh, that got a little too far ahead of Pete. And, uh, okay, are we really going to use the intent? Can we knock it off with the intentional, uh, pick and rolls here? I was going to say, I don't think that works for soccer. Basketball, you can get away with it. Soccer, I don't think you... Can. Thank you. There's a foul that's got to be in my favor. Yep, thank you for being in my favor. Okay, crowd went really silent there for a... I don't know if I like the sudden silence. Oh, come on! <sighs> I'll go ahead and take that, Ashley. Uh, I, I no idea what happened there, but okay. Th thank you. Th that's a foul, my favorite, right? Oh yes, absolutely. Um. Oh come on. Well, as long as we can somehow hold this until the end, that's all we really need to avoid a draw, if at all possible. Or avoid them basically getting in a position where they take this away from me. I was going to say, please tell... Okay, Ahmed did not get his hands on that, but we got out. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you. Um, you mind getting away from my uh, goalie? Thank you. I'm, gonna say, I'm pretty sure in, reg in actual soccer, if I recall correctly, it's illegal to kind of just sit there in front of the goalie. Um, just clear it out, Keisha. And I think that's going to do it! It is done! At long last, it is done! And you know what? Go ahead, guys. You've earned it. My players are going to go ahead and take a victory lap. Because we earned it. I am not happy at how long it took us to get here. The fact that my plans got dismantled the first time around. But I'll take it. This is how this project should have ended. This is the ending it deserved. At long last. One more time. My money boots. Stand tall. as your champions of the Backyard Soccer League and the world. 
We aren't going to get some kind of celebratory thing because I turned off Sunny Day and Earl Grey. They would have something to say otherwise, but it is what it is. The Flying Zeppelins won the uh, Constellation game. That's nice to see. But my Mighty Boots have done it. Never in my wildest dreams I ex expect to win this, said Boots co-captain Ahmed Khan. This is the greatest day of my life, said Pete Wheeler, choking back the tears. You deserved it, Pete. You were the shining star that somehow led me through a good chunk of this playoffs. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Thank you to my mighty boots. And now, it's time to celebrate. And the best way to celebrate is obviously with a pizza party. So as you get to see us uh, switch through some uh, photos... Of my team getting to celebrate. I guess now it's time to give the uh, proper uh, end game reflection on this project. As we get this, this kind of sappy music playing in the background, because why not? It can be it's this game's re it can be this game's rendition of We Are the Champions. Why not? So looking back on this project, even though I did have to kind of put it on hiatus and then pick it up. Um just thinking back to how everything went the went when we did this the last time. I'm going to be honest with you guys. This project was very fun at first. It was a nice little nostalgia trip for me. A trip down memory lane to one of one of the games I loved playing as a kid and invested so much time into. Looking back on it, I was not the greatest backyard soccer player and I've admitted that already, but again, you got to keep in mind. This was a game meant for for kids. Pretty sure the box even says what age group it was initially designed for. But still. Basically. This went from being a fun little trip down memory lane. Whoa. Uh, can we please keep playing? Accidentally hit a button there. Anyway. This was a fun little trip down memory lane. But. I do remember it reaching a point in time and it wasn't entirely because of work from the work schedule I had before. A good part of that also did come from uh, me just suffering burnout from this game. Because as a kid it was a, it was a lot easier to try to play this game in one sitting. Now that I'm much older, not so much. Especially when there's so many other things you want to do. So that was part of why the schedule started to slip for this project. Not, it wasn't so much work that work was part of it, but it wasn't a hundred percent the reason why. When I still had my previous job, and when we hit the astonishingly shiny cup of all cups group stage games the last time, it was legitimately heartbreaking. What happened? I'm not gonna lie. It. What the- Mr. Clanky, what the heck? Okay. Moving on from that, I don't know why Clanky's even here. He's kind of earned my ire for some of the calls he's made throughout this entire project. But, uh, anyway. Basically, once that heartbreaking moment happened, I put this project on hiatus because I really did not want to replay through everything right away. Um, it basically hit the point where I kind of had to relearn this game a bit from a new perspective. The perspective of someone who can actually pick up on the tricks that this game had to offer and be able to go from there. But that fresh perspective is ultimately where I think I finally got what I needed to be able to actually put an end to this project the way it was always intended to end. But now that we're here... Seeing my team enjoy their pizza party, having brought this team, even though I know it was not the greatest team as far as having the single greatest players stat-wise in this game, this was a team that gave me so many fond memories as a kid, as I said all the way back when this project first began so long ago. This team gave me so much nostalgia, and getting to play through with them one last time was a good experience, and... It will, it does please me to see them get to ride off into the sunset with one last trophy. 
Because they truly deserved it. Especially for having to put up with me for so long. Especially when we had to give it one last run through the Premier Division season and get back to the Astonishingly Shiny Cup of All Cups. But, moving forward now, I have already said in my uh, finale for South Park The Stick of Truth, if you guys have not seen that video yet, I highly recommend you do so, that the next project I'm going to do is I'm going to be restarting my Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door Let's Play. Um, if you're watching this video after it's gone live, then at this point, my uh, initial two episodes I did manage to get done the first time I attempted that project will already be long gone, just as a heads up. But, I will be hoping to begin new episodes of my reboot of it pretty soon, and we will go from there. So I think uh, we've had enough of this, as fun as it's been. So we can replay through the Premier Division season if we want to, but... If you guys want the final tally, especially counting the Premier Division games I end up replaying through, 67 wins, 3 losses, 3 draws... 256 goals for only 39 goals against, which is ridiculous. Three sets of off-the-wall indoor invitational trophies. B Division trophy, A Division trophy. Two sets of Premier Division trophies that really should have only been one, but what can you do? And of course, the astonishingly shiny cup of all cups trophy. Which if we go back to the main menu now, there it is. In all its shiny glory. But I am going to go ahead and end basically kind of where we started. The team photo for my Muddy Boots. Thank you guys for helping me pick this project back up. And putting up with me for so long. And I hope I was a great coach to you guys. As for those of you watching, I hope you had a great time with this project even though... Uh, Probably having to rewatch it to kind of get caught back up on what happened before, but... I will try to be better about this stuff in the future. I seem to have started finding my niche again, in terms of uh, doing videos. But, we'll see what the future holds. That said, thank you guys so very much for watching and giving this project a second, a second chance. I have been rupped at. And my Mighty Boots and I will see you guys next time. Take care.